Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Yorkshire Media. I am Mark, your host, your presenter, whatever you want me to be. Now, I am more entertaining than the BBC. I am Yorkshire Media, I am Mark. If you're expecting to see an Amazon pickup video today, well, I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. Um, I decided to make this, I'm going to make a video I decided to do to speak out as a YouTube content creator. I think it's my responsibility to speak out against what's happened in Ukraine. Now, I am not taking sides or anything like that. I am just with what I've witnessed through pictures on TV and things like that. So, Russia has invaded Ukraine on Thursday. Second day of fighting was Friday, and the third day of fighting will be Saturday. Russia invaded Ukraine for no reason. A Russian Russia is uh, very much the aggressor on this. Ukraine has done nothing wrong. They are innocent. If you understand what Ukraine is all about, Ukraine is an independent sovereign country and Russia has invaded it. The, you know, like I say, Ukraine has done nothing wrong. President Putin doesn't understand diplomacy or democracy or if he did he wouldn't be doing this what president putin is trying to do well from what i this is my version my opinion of what i think he's trying to do is in you know take over ukraine and in, you know and bring back the old soviet union that's what i think that's what i think he's trying to do he's flexing his muscles Unfortunately, I think Vladimir Putin has underestimated Ukraine because they are not falling. They will fight to the bloody end, and it's a simple, and it will be a bloody end. They will fight to it. Boris Johnson has done the right thing by sanctions and things like that. I know our British Parliament says there will be no no boots on the ground in Ukraine from from the United Kingdom. Okay. You went to war with Iraq, you went to war with Bosnia, but you won't go to war now when Ukraine needs us. Um, Boris Johnson has, has stated today, uh, uh, it, over these past three days, the United Kingdom stands with Ukraine. Well, I hope it does, Boris. I really do. Because in time, I think that w w we will need to be involved. I know the reason why the UK won't be involved on boots on the ground is because neither, you know, neither the Americans or the United Kingdom want to be blamed for World War Three, and, and that, that is quite possible. I think this could be the beginning of World War Three. People say I'm overreacting, but I don't think I am. At the moment, my thoughts and prayers are with the people of Ukraine. Innocent people are being killed. It is disgusting what if Russia is doing, and I think. Vladimir Putin should be taken into custody and tried as a war criminal. He has committed a war crime. He's a war monger, he, you know, literally, and he should be taken into custody and tried at the Hague for war crimes. He is committing a crime against Ukraine. Like I say, that's just my opinion and my my vision on it. Um, any kind of war is disgusting. It looks like. And and it does look like they've been planning this for a long time. I think by taking, I mean, don't forget Putin tried to take over Georgia, and then he, he got the Crimea in two thousand fourteen. I think from two thousand fourteen he's been planning for this day. Since then he's been planning it and planning it and plan and getting money to go behind it and things like that. And he did say at beginning at beginning of the week. Yeah, no, I mean, um, I, I am not going to invade Ukraine and things like that. He do say, I, I, I am not the aggressor or anything like that. You know, nothing will happen. You know, the West is overreacting and things like that. Come, come Thursday, come, come Thursday, Russia invaded Ukraine. He lied. We can't trust Vladimir Putin. You just can't trust him at all. He's a man not to be trusted and things like that. But I honestly think he should be taking it to custody, or even, you know, 
you know, and things like that. I know we are building up our troops in Romania and so is American and things like that, but that's to bolster the NATO uh, countries. It's to say, well, you know, if Putin, if you cross this line, you've got these troops, you know, I mean, you've got NATO to go out there, uh, you, you know what I mean? I know Ukraine is not part of NATO, but it should be part of NATO. I think they should have brought it into NATO a lot quicker than, than what they had. It, it, it's impossible now to do so because of what Russia is doing right now. And, it, and you, you, you know, no country wants to bring a conflict into NATO, and, and that's what it's all about. But according to the UN and that, it has broken the United Nations Charter as Russia. Um, the whole idea of the of the United Nations was to say that you will attack no country, you will be peaceful, and you will be diplomatically about things. <coughs> Sorry about that. And you will be diplomatic and talk, not 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 create war. Russia's broken all of this. Russia's created a war. It's attacking Ukraine right now. And things like that and it's disgusting it, it's completely wrong i thought the end of all this will, was with iraq and afghanistan i i thought i would never see this again but the fear is you know this could ignite world war three and, and we don't want that but putin doesn't even you know he doesn't like the west he never has he's trying to split the west into two it won't happen that will not happen we will stand defiantly I know Ukraine soldiers and that will fight till the end, and I mean the bloody end. They will fight until there's no more fight to be had, and that. So, if Ukraine falls, it's not because of Ukraine soldiers letting it fall. It's because of Russia and things like that. But let's hope Ukraine fight back. You know, I know they are fighting back. But let's hope Ukraine can win this one and push Russia right back. Back into the, back into Crimea and keep them there. Basically, that's the whole idea. In, in you know, I think in my mind. But you know, could United Kingdom and United States put boots on the ground? Well, they could, but I don't think they will. I don't think they, they will get involved un, until something. You know, un, un, until Poland. Or another NATO country is threatened with Russia. It's as simple as that. If Russia takes over Ukraine, completely takes over Ukraine, and then decides, oh, well, we're going to invade Poland, that's when Russia's got a big problem. That's when war will break out. It's as simple as that, I think, in my mind. But I, I, I honestly think that's what Vladimir Putin's trying to do, is bring back the old Soviet Union. You know, he's trying to regain what they lost when the wall fallen so um and that but yeah let's hope all all europe is in tandem with this they seem to be uh, singing from the same hymn sheet as well uh, nobody likes what's happening in ukraine especially me and things like that you know russia shouldn't have done this russia is in the wrong vladimir putin is is a war criminal and he should be arrested for it, completely arrested. And that's the way it should be. You know, it is disgusting. So, hey, this is why I haven't done my pickup. So, uh, my, my uh, prayers and thoughts are with the people in Ukraine. I really do feel sorry for them. This shouldn't be happening. Russia should learn to keep their hands off other people's countries and learn not to invade an independent and sovereign country like Ukraine. Ukraine is a sovereign country. They shouldn't be invading it. You know, what I mean, I know Ukraine have had the troubles over the past eight years with Russia, but this is Russia flexing its muscles against Ukraine. Ukraine's done nothing wrong. Ukraine is is, is an innocent country in all this. Russia just decided to rock up and go for it. You know what I mean? This is all wrong. R you know what I mean? Russia needs to be told to back off. And the only way he's going to back off is if, you know, is if we can, you know, force them back. I know we're supplying weapons to the Ukraine army, which is a good thing. We will be 
be resupplying them and things like that. But the thing is, and, and this is the big thing, people think, don't think it's the Russian people what's doing this, because it's not. It's not the Russian people, it's not the Ukraine people. It's the Russian military what's doing Ukraine. Now, from what I can gather over in Russia, Putin, you know, President Putin's on his own. The people of Russia are against all this. They didn't want this to happen. They're against it. But Putin's decided to go against the people and do it in any case. So don't blame the Russian people because it's not their fault. They are against this. Um, but what you got to understand in, uh, over in Russia, Moscow and things like that, Putin reigns his fear. You know what I mean? So, but there's millions of people over in Russia and Moscow and things like that. Um, they don't agree. They disagree with Putin. This should not be happening. Um, Ukraine, you know, military is forced to defend its own country ag against a Russian aggressor, which is wrong. It's all wrong. It really is. Don't forget, Ukraine's been fighting Russia for eight years. You know what I mean? Ukraine's not scared of them. They will fight. They will fight to the end. But at the end of the day, Russia is wrong. They've committed a war crime. As far as I'm concerned, they have committed a war crime. Vladimir Putin and his government need to be arrested and tried in the egg. So, you know what I mean? It, it's a different video now. I know I'll put this, uh, I've done this particular video because... I didn't feel comfortable in doing a pickup, so I will do that at a later date. But I didn't feel comfortable in doing the pickup video, especially what's happening in Ukraine. As I talk now to you today, the war, war it, over in Ukraine is happening. Ukraine and Russia are at war. Russia's started this war. Hopefully, Ukraine can stop this war. We're open, but we don't know. And also, is this the is this the beginning of World War Three? It could be. Yeah, I, mean, I know that's why United Kingdom and United States don't want to put books on the ground, just in case it ignites World War Three, because if it came to a nuclear weapon attack, or, you know, it, you know, in and around this area, we're knackered. You know what I mean? We will be nuked. It's as simple as that. And if a nuke lands within 100 miles of the United Kingdom, we're fried, we're dead, we're gone. It's as simple as that. So that's why we are reluctant not to get involved. Even Ukraine have asked us not to get involved with books on the ground. They are asking for help, and we, we, we are helping them. We are giving them, them weapons and things like that. But we are building up forces in NATO countries is, is United is United Kingdom and, and United States of America. I know American Air Force jets are in Romania. That is a NATO country. We're in we're building up in a NATO country just in case. And it's the things like that. It, it's hopefully that will deter Russia from going any further. And things the fear is that they could go into Poland or even East Germany and things like that. That is the main fear. But NATO has got big, big, big... They've got a lot of countries involved. And Russia needs to think twice. I honestly think what Russia's done Thursday and today and Saturday is uh, military a big mistake. I think Vladimir Putin has bitten off more than he can chew sort of thing. I think he's made a big mistake. You know what I mean? He won't be able to take all, all of Ukraine with the forces he's got. It's impossible. He won't be able to hold it with that many forces neither. He he, you know, he needs he needs cooperation from Ukraine and Ukraine won't give that cooperation. So if anyone is, is from the Ukraine and watching this video, the United Kingdom stand, stands by you. Yorkshire Media stands with you by you on this. Thank you for watching. If you've liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please like the video. Please subscribe if you know it. The bell icon and it all. Please share the video to your friends and your family. To Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And please comment below.
Yeah, we need to have this debate. Do you think Russia's done the wrong thing by attacking Ukraine? I think they have. I think Russia needs to pull back and give themselves a big slap in the face. Because basically, this is all wrong. Vladimir Putin should now be arrested, taken to the egg for war crimes. He's committed the biggest crime against humanity. Thank you for watching. This has been a Yorkshire Media production. Bye. Catch you all later.